Greetings, wonders. This is Dave again. Greetings, Dave again. <laughs> Got a lot of questions for you. Good. Um, is there a higher power, or is that a state of mind? Is it Jesus or Allah? What is it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, put us to sleep there. Uh, sorry. Mm. Apologies. Mm. <laughs> that was such a... Mm. <laughs> Dear friend, the highest power you have is yourself. You have the absolute, what was the word absolute? Ability to choose freely. You. you. So why not exercise it? Why give that power away to the Nazarene, Allah, Buddha, us, the wonders, John, Henry, George. Oh, let's not forget Stephen Harper. <laughs> you see? I thought you were going to the Beatles there for a minute. Could have been. <laughs> Could have been the whiskey. Could have been the wine. <laughs> the point is, why give your power away to anything or anyone? You see? The journey you're on here, really, why you come here to experience all this experience of existence is really to learn to empower yourself, to take that power back. When you were born, you started to give your power away through judgment. The moment you began judging, you started giving your power away. And you've been doing it all your life. Why not take that power back to yourself? That doesn't mean you have to stand on top of a mountain and s with your hands against your hips and s yell to everybody, I am the power! <laughs> you think? It's not about that. It's about not allowing anything or anyone to choose for you. You choose. You create your own choice. And we assure you, we don't want your power, which is why we keep telling you to choose, surprisingly enough. Mm. And any, any individual or organization or society that says to you, we will choose for you, that is an individual, an organization, or society that is, in effect, hmm, trying to take your power away from you. You have an ability to say no. There is a good practical tool for practical reality that we've given to humanity. And practical tool number 15 is learn to say no, know when to say yes, and use the words I choose. Practice that and you will gain the power back to yourself. Inevitably, life will come to an end for will all it? of us. Will it? Well, yes. life as we know it at this level. Ah, but you see, you can end that any time. All you have to do is stop believing in this illusion. But at, the, at this level, when things end, okay. what becomes of the choices and the judgments that are made? Does it just dissolve into thin air? No. You go through a process of reintegration and reevaluation with your soul essence. And it's, your whole existence is reviewed. Not from the perspective of judgment, not to find out what you did that was right and wrong, good or bad, simply from the perspective of how one choice led to another choice, which led to another choice. And when that's reintegrated with soul essence, soul essence will extend itself and reincarnate again. It's that simple. Your ego, your personality, will be gone integrated with soul essence and it'll extend itself into a new physical body perhaps Tanya's child chuckle chuckle <laughs> that would be fun wouldn't it <laughs> and then as a result of that you create a new ego a new mind and in that mind there will be a subconscious portion that will uh, remain connected to soul essence and all of the experiences that soul essence has gleaned will be part of the subconscious portion of mind. Do you see? So in your subconscious mind right now is everything you've ever experienced as a soul essence. How's that if that's not cool? Oh, that's so profound. 